In this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a profile view for the service profile that we've already created. So in order to do that, what we have to do is navigate up into the home tab of the ribbon bar and navigate over to the profile view dropdown. Inside the profile view dropdown, we're going to select the create profile view option. And then we're gonna navigate through this profile view creation window. So starting in the general section, we're gonna go ahead and select the alignment that we want to associate with our profile view. So we're gonna select the dev alignment because we have a dev alignment surface profile that we already have created that we're gonna display. So from there, then we have the profile view name. Uh, I'm okay with it being the parent alignment and next counter, so I'm not gonna change anything here. Then you can give a description to what the profile view is and the profile view style. So I'm gonna leave it as major grids and HGP, but know that there's plenty of other options available to you. And you can also create a new one or edit a current selection uh, of the profile view styles that are available. And just know that creating new or editing are just like any other style inside of Civil 3D. You just navigate through all the different tabs and how you want items displayed. And we can go, we will go over that later. Uh, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and move on to what layer that profile view is gonna be on. And then if you want to have your offset alignments stacked vertically in different profile views, then you would leave this item checked. We don't have any offset profiles currently, so we're gonna leave this unchecked and click next. From here, we'll move on to station range. Uh, what happens when you create a surface profile and you associate it with an alignment, is Civil 3D will automatically assign your station range. Uh, so our alignment for dev alignment has a starting station of zero plus zero zero and an ending station of nine plus 9669. And so Civil 3D, when you select automatic, already fills in this information for us. If we wanted to do a user specified range and clip down the amount of area that we're creating for our profile view, then we could specify a start and end station for our profile view. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as automatic and click next. Moving into profile view height, similar to station range, what we have going on is that Civil 3D automatically fills in the minimum and maximum elevations of the profile view based on the elevations of our surface profile that we cut uh, in the previous video. If you wanted to, you could specify a user minimum and maximum elevation and choose if that range was very small that you could split your profile view and how that profile view splitting would be displayed. Similar to how this icon looks down here, if as the profile exceeds the upper limit, it would split it and bring it in within range down here. And then as it exits down below, it splits it again. So we are going to go with automatic for now and click next. From here, this is all of the profiles that will be displayed inside of this view window. Since we only have one surface, or one profile, uh, we're gonna go ahead and have it just be our EG surface profile. And then uh, if you didn't wanna draw it, you could just unclick draw or leave it clicked. And then here's how it is going to be displayed. We have the type, the source, the style that it's being displayed as. We have the information about the starting and ending stations and elevations and what alignment it's associated with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. If we had a pipe network, we could assign it in here and check it off and have it displayed inside this window. This network one is the one that's associated with our main road up here. So I am not going to check that and I'm gonna click next. Data bands are um, a band at the bottom of the profile view that gives us information about the profiles above it. Um, if it's a bottom band, if it's a top band, it's the data below it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and just leave this as is auto-populated and we'll talk about data bands later. So we're gonna click next, and these are our hatch options and how Civil 3D treats the hatch in cut areas, fill areas, and then if we have multiple boundaries. So we're not gonna select any of these cut or fill areas because we're just going to be displaying a surface profile. So we're gonna go ahead and now click create profile view. And so when you create your profile view, what you have to be aware of is that when you are picking your view origin, the view origin is generally the bottom left-hand corner of the profile view. So what I'm gonna do is everything above and to the right of my cursor is gonna be where the profile view displays. So I don't wanna click down here because it would display over my surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and then click. 
and you can see now my profile view populates and we can start working with it.